Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to do the Amazon video I told you I was going to do with all of the different stuff that I have been purchasing off of Amazon. Some stuff I found that's really cool. Um, some stuff I'll tell you what I didn't like. I couldn't haul everything upstairs. I wanted to show you things like a robe that I got and some pajamas because I think you kind of need to see those to um, get a good idea opposed to what's online. Right now, I know a lot of businesses are selling their stuff because you can become um, an Amazon distributor and sell on there because a lot of stores are still, again, closed. So, I did buy every single one of these products. I am an affiliate with Amazon though, so if you click on my Amazon link, it'll bring you directly to the home page, or if you buy from any of my links um, below, I will earn a commission. Doesn't cost any more, I just wanna always let you guys know. So I brought my iPad up here, I have my shopping list up here, and I'm gonna kinda scroll through, and some things again I'm gonna show you, and some things I'll just put pictures up on the screen. Now I was testing different body oils. So this Pura Door, Door? I think is how you say it. I got fractionated coconut oil and I also got sweet almond oil. Now if you watch before some of my favorite videos, I love the almond oil by um, La Citan. I think is how you say it, La Citan. Um, and that is expensive and I still love that stuff. But I was like, let me see if I like this almond oil. It does not smell the same. It doesn't have a smell at all, but I mix it with some of my lotion. So I put some of my body lotion in my hand and I spray some of the oil in. Oh, that's what I was gonna show you. So these big pumps that the oils come in, um, I love this brand because it's 100%, it's organic and it's all, that's all what you see is what you get. Now the problem is, is when I push down on the pump sometimes, it would like spray everywhere if I was trying to put it into my hand. So I bought some of these brown um, glass. It keep, helps keep light out to um, keep it from turning. But I knew that like oil is not gonna do like a fine mist normally. So I looked at everything, like kitchen gadgets and things to give like olive oil a mist. Now it's gonna depend on the viscosity, like how thick the oil is. So I'm gonna show you this. Can you see this? Ooh. That sprays, it sprays. So. I just spray it into my hand like that. It's not, and that's on a fine mist. It's not gonna be a fine mist. So as long as you know that, you're good to go. Um, but I put all of the oils in there. And my favorite has been the sweet almond oil. Um, I do use the coconut oil as well, but I tend to use that more as like a scalp treatment for me. Um, but uh, again, you can use either one on your body. It's gonna come down to consistency and um, if your skin is like kind of more sensitive to coconut oil. I found something that I love, and I don't know why more people don't talk about this. This is called the Omni Shaver. Now this shaver has no safety guards, so you cannot move this sideways like this or you will cut yourself. And there's razors going, blades going both ways. Now, there, this is the handle for it. And so I saw it because people were talking about men shaving their heads and even shaving their arms. And that's what I started doing instead of using a razor. You just go like this. I put some um, shaving butter on and I just go like this and in no time it's done. And I love this razor. And then I got the little bathroom it suction cups in there and then it holds on like this to dry. So um, I don't know why more people don't talk about it. It is kind of expensive and they do have replacement blades, but it's kind of like saying that it sharpens your blade, like how, um, I'll link it below and you guys can read up on that, but I love that. I got this Cremo, Cremo um, Barber Grade Sandalwood, because I love the smell of sandalwood, shave cream. I like it on my legs, um, but not for that Omni Shaver. It's too thick and it um, you can rinse it off too much. So, um, I, But I do like the scent, it's really nice. Next, this is my second pair of these exfoliating gloves that I've got. Um, the first pair I had lasted me a long time and I love them. Um, my nails did eventually start poking through the tips of them, because I mean, how could they not? But um, in the beginning they didn't, but I think just as I've used them over time and they've gotten a little worn down and also they did get little bleach spots on them because in my quest to find different body like like not acne treatments but yeah blemish treatments whatever call it what it is um they got little bleach spots on them so there's like little white spots because um uh, the benzo peroxide bleached them so i got a new pair of those and speaking of which this is the amazon brand uh solimo daily acne control cleanser maximum strength 10 percent benzo peroxide. Um, now I was using that again, I was trying it on my chest, but if you're doing spray tanning or anything like that, since it is, it's going to bleach that out. It's also going to bleach um, towels or pillowcases it can. So um, I was just testing it. I mean, it is strong and it will kind of dry areas out and that's a high level. So I got that. This Eucerin Intensive Repair Body Lotion um, has some lactic acid in there and I wanted to try more of a lactic acid body lotion. Now this stuff, I love it, but it is greasy 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 like when I put this on I then have to walk around for a while naked and let it kind of dry and then sometimes I'll have to take a towel and 
dampen myself off. But after I put something like, if I put some oil on, like say I get out of the shower, normally I'll go on with this, or if I have, I'll talk about again one of the different, um, I got something aloe, I'll go thinnest to thickest consistency. I'll mix a pump of that oil with a, like a normal consistency lotion, I'll put it on, and then I'll go in with that eucerin. When I was doing that and I had like my spray tan on and like for my necklaces, I have a few different ones that I like, but like any of my gold ones that were laying down, like my skin, it looked radiant, like super glowy. I loved it. Um, but again, that lotion is super thick. For lotion on your back, I use, I have two of these. I use this for spray tan, the foam. You go like this to get it all over your back. And I find this is way easier to get the lotion on your back as well, opposed to using that weird crank thing that didn't even really rub it in. So I'll put some pumps on there and I'll just shimmy it in. And I love that stuff. This is what's become my favorite um, bat, like back exfoliator. It came in a pack of two. Now I like this because this is textured. Um, I mean, this has some grit to it. It's not definitely, I would call this heavy exfoliation. I would not call this for like someone that has really delicate skin. Or you could use the other back part of this. But I like it that the handles are sewn in really nice and it's a plastic grip. So I um, put the salicylic body lotion on there and I go up and down on my back. And this feels good. It makes my back super, super smooth and I can even shimmy it all the way down on my butt. I decided to give the Omni Shaver um, their shaving butter a try because I had tried a few others and I didn't like the consistency and they were saying that you could do it dry, like you didn't have to be in the shower or anything. So I tried it. Um, it was expensive for what it is, but it does work really well. It's not a necessity. I can actually do it dry and it doesn't irritate my skin or anything, but um, I did like that. Next, I got one of these um, Equius, the, the hair turbans. They have them at Sephora too, um, and those ones are 30. That's supposed to be more of a premium one for them, but I'm like, I know enough about microfiber that I'm like, how different could it be? So I went with that microfiber. And I do like it. The only thing is, is when I put it on my head and I twist it, I don't even have a lot of hair. It's hard for me to tuck it. I think I just have to kind of like stretch it out a little more. I got another one of these, um, the aloe vera. I got the bergamot and lime smell. I do not like the bergamot and lime smell. I love bergamot, but the bergamot and lime mixed with the aloe kind of smells like something's turned. Like it smells kind of rotten and I don't like that. Um, and in case you see my sweatshirt, it's from my gym there. Um, the owner of the gym is, or the gym I used to go to, the, the owner of the gym is in a heavy metal band or a metal core band. I don't really know a lot about that, but um, they do some of their gear kind of like heavy music, heavy lifting. So this is one of theirs and I'm cold. Then I got this robe. Can you see this? Like this? Now again, since it's cold, and yes, I'm wearing pajama pants, but it's, I always call it the YouTuber mullet, and only if I have something on top. Um, you can kind of see, I mean, again, I do have a sweatshirt on because I'm outside and it's heavy, so I can't really get naked. But you can kind of see it's very flowy. It's not something that if you wanted it to be tight, it only comes in one size, like it's big. So it's not gonna be like some tight little sexy robe, but I just keep it with the belt off. And I just walk around the house doing chores and stuff with this on, and this is satin, and I like this because it's one continual piece, if you see. Like, they don't stop the pattern mid and then pick it up somewhere else, so it kind of looks chopped. They had one that was a darker, like, peacock color, and I really liked it, but I was like, you know what? All my bedding and stuff, I like it when it's light color. I do have some dark color pajamas, but I'm like, I kind of want the, the light color robe, so I got that because it's, like, soothing. It doesn't have an inside tie. It only has one big outside, like, sash tie, so to me, it's not very flattering if it's um, tied tight. I have Apple AirPods and for some reason like I have little baby ear canals <laughs> or something. I have the smallest ones on there but going running in things I actually this happened to me when I was in Chicago. It was raining and I ran to like jump over a puddle and one fell out into the puddle and I was like no! <laughs> it's kind of like a leash for them and also for when I go snowboarding because if one falls out I mean it's white I'll never find it again. So these I just um, push it up. I guess some people would say what's the point of having wireless ones? Well, the point is it doesn't have to be wired into my phone. So it just is like a little weighted thing that comes around my neck that has two little cords kind of like this. I just slide them over the bottom of my ear pods and it makes it so if one falls out, it's hanging there and I don't lose it. So I used to work for Spornet, but not anymore. This brush is called the Little Wonder. Um, I used to have a, a bunch of them when I worked for them and then I, I don't know where they all went. So I bought a new one um, to tease my hair up when I do wear the clip-in extensions because it helps um, them to grab onto. Staying with Keegan, um, I needed 
decided to get a new litter box for Massimo because the one that he had, he was making a mess of. So I love top loading litter boxes. So I got this one and it really keeps the litter all in place in there. And it's easy to clean because the top just pops off. I got the wool light heavy traffic foam um, to spray on the carpet. And then you kind of like, you, you rub it in and then you kind of wait for it to dry and then you vacuum it up. Um, I like that for certain areas of the rug that I can't use my huge, it's all in storage, my gigantic carpet cleaner. Um, so that's worked just in areas because the cat and dog now are like when they are going outside here They're like laying in the bushes because it's kind of like Jumanji if you can hear around And so they're picking up dirt and coming in and I just want to make sure I keep that clean And then for my satin and silk um, things or just anything like even my bras I put them in a, like a laundry bag or an intimates bag and because I don't want the hook to catch on things and I want to keep them protected. I like the Tide Studio liquid laundry detergent um, for again for studio delicates. I love the smell so what I'll do is even with that robe I put it in a bag still because I don't want anything to catch it in the washer. I put it in one of those bags um, I put in with my other silk pajamas and things or satin ones and I put some of that in there and then I hang them all to dry and they smell amazing so I love that stuff. Keegan didn't have an iron or like a steamer or anything and so my clothes, so I wanted to get a steamer. So I got this one. Um, this one still, it says it doesn't spit water, but it does spit water. Um, but it is handy just to get wrinkles out quickly instead of like having to break out an iron board and everything. During lockdown when I was like, okay, I miss my nails, um, when everything was closed, I bought all of this stuff like poly gel, I got dip powder, all of these things trying to figure out how to do my nails and I don't know if I have some of the pictures. I know I sent my sister some of them so I'll show you. Some of them were not cute. It was like, you know, growing up in nail salons in the 80s and 90s, that's what gave me my vice of my super long nails. Like I miss it when they used to have, does anybody remember those little like gold hoops or you'd have like one gold nail? I miss those days. I'd bring them back. I know a lot of you guys think they're tacky. A lot of people, some people on my last video said, oh, I hope those are left over on Halloween. Nope. It's Halloween all year round for me, I guess. <laughs> I keep them all the time. I get it. People don't like them. Don't wear them. But I got the dips, like the powdered dips. Now, I don't like the dips because my nails are too long. I cannot get the support I need from just brushing it on because you need to build the apex of the nail, which is basically the wear that this this bulk like the smile comes down so um for the length that i like anyway now dip powder is awesome if you have very short nails or if you're just building out on your own natural nail or you want color perfect for me it wasn't working but i bought all the stuff i tried it anyway and here's the dumbest thing i've ever done actually not the dumbest because i know i've done dumber stuff but one of the dumber things i consider myself fairly intelligent i don't i don't really know what i was thinking but I called my sister because I had to laugh because as my gr nails had grown out, I thought like, oh, I just need a fill until like I kept thinking, okay, they'll open up anytime now. So I really just tried to take the powder and like kind of paint it over there and a little into there so I could buff it out and then just dip it in there so it filled in the back. Hello, the thing I wasn't paying attention to though is that wasn't going to fix as this is growing out where this is becoming weak so they started just popping off. I was like, why didn't I think that I would need to like reinforce that? I just didn't want my nails to get very thick and at the time I hadn't bought a drill. Now I did buy a drill, but um, not, not my brightest moment. So for the dip powder, I had like an, you have to use like an activator, a base coat, but then you have to make sure you're wiping it off in between because as you go on for the next sets, you're now picking up the powder that's on the nail and sticking it back in and it can make it harder. So it was just a mess. I made a mess. I got primer for my nails and like a nail dehydrator kind of like bond-aid because you need to completely dehydrate the nail bed prior to putting some of these things on to make sure that they stick. Um, and I like typically I get crystal clear nail tips on like if I break my nail because normally I used to just get overlays on my own natural nails. Um, after all this stuff happened with locked out, like my nails right now are right here, my natural ones. I don't know if you can see, but my natural nails are right here. Um, I chopped them all off. So I got crystal clear tips, um, and I do like those buttons, but the funny thing is, is my nails right now, actually if I got, once I get them filled, I would have the whole length, but when she put them on last time, she literally just cut the number off the bottom, and that's, that's how long they were. So um, I do like these clear tips, but they are not as long as I prefer. I brought this nail glue offline, which is super sticky, and I've glued my fingers together, and I also glued my finger to a file. It's fun. 
at this point now, I'm like, okay, this has become like a project, something for me to work on. I'm like, I'm gonna figure out how to do my nails. So I got a professional like drill and I liked it that I could turn it up and like see what number it was on. Um, now this isn't for the faint of heart. Don't go doing this and like completely drill off your nail, natural nail bed or anything. And you can hurt yourself, so, so be careful. I also got myself an LED lamp. Um, I was shocked at how inexpensive they were. I remember when I worked back, you know, I was working with OPI and when they first launched some of those, those things were like $299. It was crazy expensive. Now you can get them a lot more affordable. Got a no wipe or no cleanse top coat so I could paint the gel top coat on and like bake them basically and then I didn't have that sticky top layer on. Um, it was super shiny and I like it. I bought a bunch of files, 100, 180 grit emery boards and I bought coffin shape because I was thinking like I don't like that's what I like the ballerina shape I was thinking like oh that would be way easier because my left hand would look awesome my right hand would look like garbage like hot garbage because I'm right-handed so I could do this one really well but as I'm trying to do it onto my right hand it just didn't look good and so I was saying oh let me see if I can get the nails already shaped but those are more for almost like press on nails or something because they went all the way they were round on the edge it wasn't like what I was thinking I was thinking they were just gonna have that smile line and they were just gonna be coffin shaped so that didn't work for me I didn't use those the poly gel I got is like a hybrid between a gel and an acrylic now you can work with it as long as you need before it will set and it's supposed to kind of self level the problem I was getting was this I was using these things called dual forms which I would squeeze the poly gel in and then pat it out. If you want to look up videos on that, I would pat it out, build up the nail and then you place the nail on top and then you cure it. And then you just wiggle the form back and forth and it pops off. The problem with that is I was getting huge, it was like really thick under here. Even if I was taking the brush and trying to, it just looked like a solid chunk. It looked weird, I didn't like it. So then I was trying to think like how, how could I do this differently and I'm like oh you know what let me put the nail tips on first then fill in the poly gel on that form then put the, the form over the tip so that way that it's not possible for it to be thick under there that worked a lot lot better and I was making sure that I got a deep C on these um, on the the form so I could build it up thicker in the middle like that and it worked a lot better but it's still like, for some reason, when my nails were coming up, the whole nail was just popping off. So I was like, no. I got some gold cleaner. Um, I got out the cloth, which I really like. And I also got, um, I've always used this little um, the Connoisseur's Precious Jewelry Cleanser. I like that stuff a lot. So um, I got the liquid and the cloth. The cloth, you have to be really careful because typically I don't buy hollow um, chains or necklaces. I like them solid. But still, if you're holding onto it like this and pulling it, there's a chance that you're going to break um, like I broke a Franco link I had doing that and then I had it repaired and then I broke it again so yeah natural selection there I guess because of what I was diagnosed with with um, Hashimoto's and things I was told that um, like selenium is really important so um, I would always rather eat eat like the nutrients that I need rather than take a supplement if possible so I got these uh, raw Brazil nuts I got a 32 ounce bag um they kind of taste like dirt <laughs> they're not it's not like you're eating toasted peanuts or anything like that I mean it's just kind of like uh I mean they're not bad but it does have like an earthy taste to them but um I eat one of those every single day uh just to make sure I'm getting the selenium I need more nail stuff I got these bowls to soak off after I was doing all this stuff to my nails I'm like oh my god my nail buzzers are gonna hate me so um I got it where I could fill up warm water on the bottom and I could put the pure acetone in the little like click the handles down and put it in and soak your nails off I got Got the little um, dapping dishes. I got buffers. I got nail cuticle oil from Tony Cuccio or Cuccio. I've known Tony Cuccio, the owner of that, since I've been a kid because of my mother. Got this drill bit set. Um, I kind of like diamond drill bit sets. Now again, they're way easier to cut yourself with these. Some of them are rounded on the edge, so you can go right up to your cuticle. If you have questions about how to use those things, watch videos. And it's not for the faint of heart. So if if yeah. Just pra practice. <laughs> Next I got, uh, since I've been at Keegan's, I used to have that big, large um, jewelry box uh, that was like a floor model. So here I just got this little jewelry um, tree just to make sure my necklaces aren't getting tangled. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know as I'm going and editing this and linking it, um, I saw that when I popped it up on screen, it says it's like $62. On my order, you can see here, I only paid 20 so I'm not sure why the heck it jumped up so much. I didn't get it on special. I don't know if it's because they're selling fast, but either monitor if you want that exact model. It is really well made and sturdy. It's not flimsy or cheap feeling, 
but I definitely would not pay that much for it. So I um, just wanted to let you know. I got these, I like these thigh high socks. Um, I'll wear those sometimes with pajamas when it gets chilly out. I just think that they're sexier than just wearing plain socks. And it's also keeps my feet clean and I get them in. So this one had six pairs and I like the colors. Okay, so my hair is really fine. So when I like just plop it up, I'll just plop it up in like two different clips. So it kind of gives it some kind of volume. But when I go to bed, um, I've switched to silk scrunchies. Um, these ones, the original black ones I got were Charmu Charm Charmuse, Charmuse silk, I think it's called, um, which is a mixture, I believe, of silk and satin. I wanted mulberry silk um, ones, so that's what I ended up buying in place of there. So I got the black ones, and I also got the tan ones because I figured when my extensions are in, I can kind of wrap it up, and you can't see it as much. And the black ones um, too. But I wear these to bed. The um, silk does have amino acids and things in there, but it also prevents it from tearing at your hair and pulling it. Cat the back up here, which I appreciate um, because, like I said, I feel like Cynthia from Kate Arnold with four pieces of hair, so I can't afford to lose any. I, I sleep with an eye mask on. Um, I don't know when I really started doing that, but I do. Now, I prefer, um, I like, obviously most of my stuff is black, but I like black ones. Um, I like black as well because it just keeps the light out more than like a colored one. So I was like, I'm not going to necessarily like match all my pajamas. Now, this is, I kept the, the thing on here. I would normally cut this off, but I wanted to show you. So I bought this uh, slip one, which they make scrunchies and hair ties and things like that too, but they're very expensive. Now, this mask, I think, was $50 for this. Um, I saw some other ones online. Keegan doesn't sleep well with the TV on. Sometimes he goes to sleep early and sometimes I want the TV on. So um, I just got him another one, like a silk one, and he actually can't. He like throws it off in no time. But I wanted to show you the difference. So this is also 100% mulberry silk. This is from Zima Silk. This one was $19.99. So half of the price, less than half the price of this one. So this is the sil this is a slip one and this is the Zima. Now you can see this one is smaller, the silk one, the more expensive one. They both have cushion padding inside. I was gonna, same thing, I was gonna cut this off. Now when I wash these, the same thing, they say hand wash them, but I put these in a laundry bag and I put them in with my delicates and then I just hang them to dry. I prefer the slip one. Um, it is smaller. I just find that it gives me like the slightest bit of pressure on my eyes that I like to help me sleep. This one is a lot larger. Um, it covers a lot more space and this one feels really nice too. Um, now again, this one, I only prefer this one because I have them both. If I didn't know going in and someone gave me the options, I would of course save money and, and get this one because it feels really nice too. And it's the same mulberry silk. And if anything, if you have bigger space, it'll, it'll, clear out more from your eyes. Just, I've been reading out, I fall down these weird holes on Amazon. Um, it's called TheraBreath, and I got the Maximum Plus Strength Oral Rinse. Now, this doesn't really have a mint, it has a slight minty taste to it, but after you use it, your breath doesn't smell like anything. Like, it doesn't smell like you've eaten, like, handfuls of Altoids. It doesn't burn my mouth like Listerine, um, because of all the alcohol and stuff in that. I mean, they do make a alcohol-free one, but... I was reading about this one um, and it says use a cap. It guarantees like it's supposed to work for 24 hours to leave your breath smelling fresh. I was like, that's pretty cool. And I do like it. The bottles are each 16 ounces. And if you use the cap full that it says, like if you use that morning and night, you would go through them fairly quickly. Um, I'm not through them yet. I just use it in the morning. I have a water pick that I use at night and I don't really feel the need to use it at night. So, um, but I just use it in the morning and I really like it. Another company I used to work for is Tweezer Man. I have had these stolen from me or I've given some to friends like five times. So this is, I don't even know how many, like what, six, seven times I've had this. This is an esthetician tool. This is um, an extraction tool. Now they have uh, several different types. They have one that's like, uh, has a more of a grip to it. I'll put the number of what model number this one is and I'll link it here so you know that you're getting it. So there's two sides of there. There's this side, if you can see that, and then this side that's more angled. So this is meant more for like if you have a white head, you push it against there and drag it. It makes it so you don't get scars on your face from nails. And this end is meant for if you have deeper ones, I come at it from different angles like that and kind of press on it. And I love this thing. My friends all love it. Everyone gets addicted to it and then they steal it. So I'm like, don't. I'll also like sometimes press and just like go up on my nose if I have any like blackheads or anything and it takes all of that out. Just don't press too hard. You don't want to pop anything in your face. But I love this. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I will see you next time.